who are the most passionate weirdos? They're passionate weirdos is who they are. And by the way, I, I subscribe to that. You know, I, I am, I'm a member of the tribe. I think the dominant image you see of record collectors in the media tends to be some version of the Simpsons comic store guy. Someone has mixed an amazing Spider-Man in with the Peter Parker, the spectacular Spider-Man series. This will not stand. Pardon me. I'm not saying that's completely false because I've met people that certainly fit that profile, but I think over the years, uh, I've met a very, very diverse array of people who are into records. You don't necessarily see that reflected though in the depictions that we have of record collectors. Nah, that one's not so great. This is the one I'd recommend. And this track alone by Memphis Minnie is worth about $500 if you own the original 78. Wow. It always uh, has been kind of a boys club kind of thing historically. I think that's a stereotype. And, and I, I would beg to differ because I was buying vinyl when I was a teenager. Um, and I'm not a, a young white male or a middle-aged white, or I wasn't, yeah. The big struggle that the high-end audio industry has identified for itself is this evolving discussion that's about how to reach out to women, people of color, um, you know, all sorts of youth, minority, all of those sort of sectors that they've never touched on before. And ironically, they continue to do the exact things that are not helpful uh, in that pursuit, and that is to treat women like children and young people like they're idiots and people of color like criminals. If you want to change things, you have to just do it. The fact that then I thought that vinyl belonged in a certain sense to that certain kind of white man was definitely encouraged by the images. Whenever anybody was talking about vinyl. You guys are snob. No, we're not. No, seriously, you're totally elitist. You feel like the unappreciated scholars, so you shit on the people who know less than you. No. no which is everybody. Yeah. yeah. Yes. I think a lot of people think that when you go to a record store, the owner is going to be grumpy and he's going to sort of judge you. And I've certainly felt that way. I've had more than one male cable technician walk in and look at my records and say, wow, whose records are these? If I had a penis, you would, you would assume they were my records. Do I feel good when someone's like, oh, cool, the DJ is a woman. That's, that's cool. It's different. Like, dude, I'm trying to just do my job here. I don't need commentary. I might be really colorful, I might have weird records, but I've been doing this for 10 years and I know how to run a mixer, I know how to run a turntable, I know how to beat match, like I know these things and I just, um, I'm just ready for people just to assume that I do.